Good evening. I'm Jim Axelrod with a Western edition of the broadcast. More than three dozen people are dead following an attack in Nairobi, Kenya. Several Americans are reported to be among the injured. And a terror group with links to Al-Qaeda is claiming responsibility. Witnesses report five gunmen opening fire in a new four-story mall and taking hostages. Charlie Daggett begins our coverage. We warn you, some of these pictures are disturbing. Police scrambled for cover as gunshots rang out at an upmarket shopping mall in Nairobi. Inside, the mall, popular with Westerners, was under siege. Witnesses said a group of men armed with automatic weapons stormed the shopping center and shouted that anybody who was a Muslim could leave. They then started spraying gunfire and lobbing grenades into crowds. These graphic pictures of the aftermath show elderly people, women, and children among the dead. Mall worker Sujar Singh said police were no match for the gunmen. I saw a guy by the, by the main entrance. I think he was shot. I went to help him. This guy shot at me. He missed me. Terrified shoppers took cover for hours, trying to make their escape any way they could, even crawling through air vents. The U.S. State Department said American citizens were among the wounded and condemned the attack as a senseless act of violence. As people sprinted out of the shopping center, an emergency crews tended to wounded survivors. Kenyan soldiers rushed in to flush out the militants. But for the dozens dead and more than 150 wounded, it was already too late. The Al-Qaeda-linked Somali militant group Al-Shabaab has claimed responsibility for the massacre. The group said it repeatedly warned Kenya to pull back its troops out of Somalia or face severe consequences. And Jim, tonight they warned more attacks are on the way. Charlie, thank you. Let's bring in our senior national security analyst, Juan Zarate in Washington. Juan, uh, Charlie Daggett is just reporting that the Al-Qaeda affiliate Al-Shabaab is claiming responsibility. What can you tell us about this group? Well, Al-Shabaab is an affiliate of Al-Qaeda that has been operating in Somalia for a number of years. It's been fighting for control of Mogadishu and parts of Somalia, but it has acted outside of Somalia, not just in, in Kenya, but also in Uganda. Uh, it has also served as a source of recruitment for Westerners, which has raised concerns for American authorities. So how concerned, even though this attack is taking place in Kenya, how concerned are American intelligence officials? Well, they're very concerned because this is one of several al-Qaeda affiliates that are flexing their muscles, creating havoc regionally, uh, but also serving as a source of radicalization and recruitment for Westerners, including Americans. Uh, an American named Omar Hamami was just recently killed uh, in Somalia by the al-Qaeda affiliates. And so U.S. officials are worried about the ties to the U.S. as well as the regional instability that groups like al-Shabaab uh, represent. And, of course, Americans uh, reported injured in the attack today. Juan Zarate in Washington, thank you.